Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So here I am again sharing with you another uh, masterpiece of a perfume. So the perfume that I'm going to talk to you about was launched in 1984 by Paloma Picasso. Okay? So Paloma Picasso is a Spanish-French um, uh, fashion designer and businesswoman, businesswoman um, best known for her jewelry designs for Tiffany. Um, she is actually the daughter of, of the, the painters uh, Pablo Picasso and Francois Gillot. I mean, how awesome is that, yeah? So, Paloma Picasso, it's a very bewitching uh, perfume. It's dark. It's mysterious. Um, this is an oak moss bomb, guys. If, if you like a sheep perfume, if you like oak moss in perfumes, you will definitely like this one. It's very unisex, very elegant, and very sophisticated. Yeah? Now, um, I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna go through the notes. Um, there's a, there's a lot of them, so I'm gonna have to look at my computer, guys. So sorry about that. So on the top notes, you have carnation, coriander, rose, angelica, neroli, bergamot, amalfi, lemon. On the middle notes, you have patchouli, hyacinth, jasmine, ylang ylang, and mimosa. Now in the base, now this is where it gets exciting, guys. You have oak moss, civet, uh, castorium, vetiver sandalwood musk and amber so as you can see guys with the uh with the base notes you get uh, civet and castorium two notes that are known to be very animalic yeah um now it, with some people though they, uh, when they smell oak moss some of them also think that uh, oak moss can be a bit animalic so guys so this perfume has all that notes so i have it on my on my skin right now so the overall feel of, of this perfume, again, so it's, um, it's mossy, okay? It's dry, it's damp. Um, what else? It's, it's dry, mossy, and damp, and <sighs> wow. So you know, I, I did mention that there's a lot of florals in there. So guys, don't be too scared of that because the florals, the florals here are well blended that you, you, I mean, you, you cannot really, it's very difficult to pick out each of the floral notes in here. So they're all well blended. Um, so it, it, it gets disguised by the oak moss, civet, and the castorium. So the dry down is, is, is very woody, to be, in fact. So guys, it, 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 if, if you smell this perfume right now, this would pass as a masculine fragrance. So if you like uh, classic perfumes like I do, uh, especially uh, sheep perfumes, um, do check out uh, Paloma Picasso. Uh, so by the way, so this is the, uh, um, the EDP uh, version. So the EDT has a gold cap and clear all the way. And then the Pure Parfum, I believe there's a Pure Parfum, um, which is a circular bottle and then it's all black. So I, mean, I, I love the, 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 the EDP. I, I, I believe the EDT has more florals. So that's why I prefer this one, guys. Again, that's Paloma Picasso.